Yeah, good evening. This is just kind of a story, I guess. Uh, I flew in yesterday from Barcelona. Uh, my flight was at 7 o'clock out of Barcelona, so I had to get up at like 4.30 at my son's house to get to the airport uh, on time to catch the train, or to catch the plane. I did take a train to get the plane. But um, I landed in Zurich, and because we've lived so many years in Texas, there are things that we can live without, but we prefer don't, not to. Uh, one of those is um, Mexican uh, food, tamales, salsa, jalapenos, and uh, so there's a Mexican food store that my mother-in-law found uh, in one of the uh, lesser traveled areas of Zurich, <laughs> yeah, and so I had my suitcase and my backpack, and I'm walking to the uh, Mexican store, and a man kind of falls in step beside me, not really, and goes, oh, and picks up a gold ring off the sidewalk, and my first thought is, oh, I guess I should have seen that. And, and then he, I said, that must be your lucky day, huh? And realize, he realized, I guess, that I speak English. He's uh, of some, I don't know, I don't know where he's from. Um, so he is holding me and goes, look, look, it must be gold, must be gold. Look at the numbers on it, and there was writing on the inside, but uh, I didn't have my reading glasses on at the time because I was walking, and uh, so we, I get to, I'm going to walk into the, uh, establishment where I'm going to buy my goods, and he goes, here, I give this to you. I said, I don't want it. He said, no, I give it to you. Yeah, I give it to you. I said, I don't want it. He said, no, 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 it's yours. It's yours. So I, I take it, put it in my pocket. He said, how about some money for some lunch? I said, what? He said, I need money for lunch. And I said, aha. So I reach in my pocket, and in Switzerland, we have a, a five franc coin, which is about worth about five bucks right now. And uh, oddly enough, when I was leaving Barcelona, I saw the uh, subway deals and the uh, KFC deals, and they're like 360, so um, he said, this is not enough for lunch. This is not enough for a sandwich and a Coke. <laughs> and I said, oh, yeah, you're right. Hang on just a second. I reached back into my pocket, and I handed that, rat, that ring back, <laughs> which now I suspect, of course, it was his in the first place. He probably has a whole uh, drawer full of them, and he goes around and finds rings for people. But uh, just the look on his face when I... I stopped and handed the ring back to him. I said, oh, this, this should be able to buy you lunch. Um, he was quite, I guess he expected more money or something. It was just one of those things that happens in life. I thought it was innovative. I thought it was clever. Uh, better than sitting on the street with a cup, I think. But, uh, uh, just a stupid little story for no reason. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com